What we've got here is the Multistrada 1200 Enduro. Now don't think for a minute this is just any other Multistrada. It's got hundreds of changes to it. It might be the same basic 160 horsepower DVT engine and the same basic chassis, but beyond that this really is a different bike. Now it's a Multistrada that's designed to go anywhere. It's a global adventure bike designed to take you and your passenger, if you require, around the world. Hence these massive boxes on the bike that we've got here which is fitted on with a touring pack. Now to ride, the bike is, has got the same 160 horsepower V-twin sort of loveliness that the Multistrada has. But on this one, it's actually got more torque. There's a shorter first gear and a shorter sixth gear, and there's more torque all the way through the rev range. And you can really feel that when you come out of corners at low revs, even as low as 3,000 RPM. Yet you've still got that lovely rev ceiling where it revs to about 10,000 RPM if you want to wind it up a little bit. The suspension is, uh, is much higher than the Multistrada with about 30 millimeters more travel and it means there's a lot of kind of four and a half pitching on the bike but you soon settle down and soon get used to it doing that. And of course it's got semi-active suspension which means you can uh, electronically adjust all the settings to crank the bike up and make it as stiff or as soft as you want. Now we've been riding the bike off-road as well today for half a day and look where we've been today the standard Multistrada S would have got round but would still be going round now I think. Whereas with the Enduro it really can take you anywhere. We've been doing some fairly serious off-road trails, sort of fire road type stuff with a bit more technical uh, as well and uh, on enduro setting it makes 100 horsepower, softens up the suspension, the traction control works brilliantly off-road as does the ABS and I even tried switching it to 160 horsepower to do some big leery off-road slides and it even lets you get away with that. Now look, hand on heart I've always been a big fan of the Multistrada. The Multistrada 1200 Enduro is a lot of money but I have to say it is an awful lot of bike, just look at it. And I think for me, I actually prefer it to the standard Multistrada, and that's saying something.